Hello friends, welcome back in JavaFX UI controls tutorial session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the control, which is button. And now we are going to perform these four tasks with button. So in the first one, we will see how to apply an image icon on button. Then we will see how to handle the button click action. In this point, we will see two types of handling. First one, if you guys are not using the FXML, in that case, we have to do it uh, from the code. If you guys are using the FXML, then this one is different. I will explain both things here. After that, we will apply some effects on button in which I will show you a shadow effect on button. So when you move mouse cursor on the button, then the effect will be applied. When you move away your mouse cursor, then the effect will be disappear. After that, we will see the styling of a button with the help of CSS. This session going to be lengthy. That's why I have divided this session in two parts. This is the part one in which we will cover two points. Let's get started. I'm here in the NetBeans ID 8.0 and this is my JavaFXML based project, which I have created in our first session of UI controls. So guys, let me open the FXML first. So we are going to perform the setting of an image icon on the button. Here I have created one image from the paint. In your case, you can take any image icon of your choice as per your requirement. So we are going to apply this image on a button. Now I have to open the FXML. This is the FXML opened with the scene builder. Now you can see here we have the base pan as anchor pan and now only one single button is on it. If you guys not able to look the button on the left hand side, you can simply search that in search box and you will get and just drag and drop. So I have adjusted the size size little bit and expanded it to fit the image that I have created on it. And now I have added one label as well here because in the later I will explain the button click action. So we will use this label. So meanwhile, leave this. So now we are focusing on this button. So right now you have to go on the inspector and then simply clean the text, which you will get by default. And this was button. So I have removed it. There is no use. After that, you have to go here in the code section and then you have to assign the FX ID. If you are using the FXML, in that case, you need this FX ID. If you are not using FXML, then you can simply use the button object or button reference variable. I will explain you here. Now we are inside the controller. I have declared one FXML variable and this is the FX ID because we need this. So we will get the object of a button in this reference variable, then we will use it. Additionally, we have one label at this place. So I have assigned a FX ID. I will use this in the later in this tutorial session. Now I'm minimizing it. And now we are focusing on the button. Now our target is to apply an image. So we need two lines of code to apply this image. First, we need to create the image object. Then we have to set this image object on button with the help of set graphic method. I have this code ready here in the notepad. I will simply copy this place and I will come back and paste it here. Look at this line number 38. As I told you, we are creating the image object and uh, you can see the parameter. This is the image name and this image is placed here in the base package. You can see the location of this image. That's why we don't need to give the complete path of this image. Simple. Once we get the image object ready, then we have to use the second method like uh, set graphic method from the button. And then we have to pass this image view object. So we are creating anonymous object and one parameter is required in image view class constructor, which is of image type. That's it because set graphic method expecting a node. If you simply give the image object that will not accept. So you have to give the node and now with the help of image view class, we are 
creating this anonymous instance and passing in it to satisfying this condition. That's it. Now we are ready for a clean build. So you can go here in the uh, run menu and simply click here, clean and run. As you can see, my project is set to default project. That's why this will pick directly this project. Now it's time to run it. You can simply click here on this run button or you can simply do the right click and run file. Now you can see the stage and our image is applied properly on this button as we were talking about and mission is successful now because clarity is more important. If you get the concept clearly from the basics, then you can apply this concept in anywhere, in any project. Now guys, we are going to handle the click event. So uh, this is our button and also we have one label at same fxml or this is the fx id for this label also we need one fxml variable so we have declared here with the help of fx id now it's time to write the so first i am going to tell you if you are writing simple class and you want to apply you want to use you want to handle the button click action, then this code will be helpful. In our case, I'm using FX ID, but in your case, you can use the object of the button. So the piece of the code is ready here in this notepad. Let me copy this. Paste it here. So guys, you can see this is the short form of event handler. Okay. If you see on the right hand side, this is the expanded form, which was prior to Java 8. But now we have a Java 8 option. We can use this Lambda expression and we can short this method to this one. So we are simply handling the button click action this way and whatever inside this curly braces that will be executed when you hit on the button. So when we are going to press, and this statement will be executed, which is at line number 42. So we are setting this text on the label. I hope this is clear to you. Also, you can see on the right hand side, this is the traditional and the older way to handle the event. You can use both. Now let me take a clean build again and we will run this and we will see the output we are ready to run it okay guys the stage is appeared now going to click just clicked and we found that the message cool it help is set on this label you can notice here which line executed line number 44 executed once we clicked on this button and this event handled successfully and this is working fine so this is the first way if you are not using the fxml if you guys are using the fxml and not using the netbeans default uh, setup for uh, this so you have to use different method to handle the button click event. I will show you how you will do it. So let me open first a uh, previous project. So I will copy the code from here and I will explain you what is happening here. So we need this type of method with address fxml annotation. So you have to create a void method. You can use any name of your choice for this method. And we have to pass one uh, argument here, which is action event event. And whatever you will write inside this method that will be executed on button click. So we are doing the same thing as we have done in the first method. So we are setting a label and we will set different text this time. So I will delete the line number 36, which has no use in this example. And now 
line number 37 is useful so i will change it little bit now this time we are uh, going to set hello cool it help so <clears throat> focus on this we need add that fxml also we need one argument which is of type action event now you have to come back here in the fxml and just select the button and go here in the code section on right hand side and just come down you will see the on action place and click here on the drop down you will find that same method here let me show you so this is the method we have just created in the controller and now when you go back here in the fxml here in this drop down you will find the same method now once you select it select it this will act as a action handler for button click event now this is done and we are ready for a clean build okay build successful now we can run it and we will see is it working or not here we go we got the stage now let me click on it okay guys we got it so we got the label but the label is not completely visible i will do some changes here with the label so i am stretching the width of this label little bit so our given text will be displayed properly now everything is saved doing clean build again before running this i hope this time the complete text will be visible here we go okay stage appeared now clicked on it we found this hello cool it help so you have seen this way in which we have uh, fxml and we connected this method from the fxml side and this is handling the click event of a button if you have a, a more than one button so you have to create the different methods for each of them and you can proceed i hope you guys have clear understanding on all these concepts this video is going lengthy so i am stopping at this place and guys we will discuss the point third and point fourth in our second part of this tutorial session don't forget to watch that if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help